Hello, and welcome to this week's discussion. Thank you for tuning in. In this last week's episode, Reed and I had a conversation toward the end about commander's intent. Now, I'm not confident that we did a, a really good job of explaining it, so I wanted to revisit that here today. First of all, it is important for us to recognize that the commander's number one responsibility is to ex execute the mission. But for a number of reasons that we explored in this week's episode, as well as in many others, it is not possible for the commander to accomplish the mission on their own. Rather, they have to rely on others in order to make the mission happen. And AFI 1TAC2 specifically says that commanders have the responsibility and authority to act and to trust subordinates to complete their assigned mission. Now to do that, airmen have to have commander's intent. So what is commander's intent? Commander's intent is a clear and concise expression of the purpose of an operation, the desired outcome, and the acceptable risks for achieving mission success. Most often, commander's intent is delivered at some sort of meeting to squadron leadership, such as the senior enlisted leader, the first sergeant, director of operations, and flight commanders. It then becomes their responsibility to deliver that message to the rest of the squadron and carry out the orders of the day. Other times, commanders will have all-hands meetings, such as commander's calls, where members of the unit will be able to hear from their commander directly. When necessary, though, commanders will use written statements or even mission-type orders, or MTOs, to deliver their intent. MTOs are most frequently used in actual operations and the employment of air power, as opposed to combat support functions or within the acquisitions community. Wherever written statements are used, though, they are still designed to provide airmen with the greatest amount of freedom to carry out the mission within the guidelines that the commander provides. I hope that this makes a little more sense to you now. Commander's intent is an incredibly important aspect of how the Air Force carries out operations. So if you're still unclear about what commander's intent is or how it's used, please feel free to leave a comment down below or reach out to us at airforceofficerpodcast at gmail.com. Or if you have an experience or information that would be beneficial to the rest of the audience, please feel free to share that as well. Thank you.